This is one of the best houses I've ever seen in Dubai. I feel like I'm in a different world itself, you know. You can see all tourists going, going and coming in those mini, in the buggies. But we walk, we walk so we understand every part of it. But it's beautiful, I mean, expo it is a different world itself, you know. It's just, it's, we're in a complete different world. It's amazing, it's insane. So we're going to Terra, the sustainability pavilion. I think this is one of the most beautiful sales centers I've been to. Another beautiful, sustainable city was had also a very beautiful sales center and this is really nice. Wow. Look at this. Very nice. We first do the tour, then we understand the master plan. But uh, enjoy. Enjoy the expo. So I like this, you know, there were all these food trucks over there. Really nice. I don't like doggy dinner. Oh, maybe that's for dog food. This is this is it? Okay, I don't know. Doggy dinner. So nice. I might imagine all this infrastructure. There's no developer in Dubai who's going to spend so much on infrastructure. This was done because of Expo. I guess we get all kinds of that's the African dining hall. I guess that's the African. It's really, really beautiful, guys. I don't know if the video is portraying how beautiful this looks. And that's where the residential community is coming. These are the apartment buildings, not the villas. Um, it's called Around the World. So I'm, I'm right now over here. I'm in the blue zone. Uh, so this is where the residential complex is. So let's go. And half the things over here, I really need to study. It feels like some futuristic city. Oh, this is so cute. So this is Turkmenistan, and, uh, and that looks so beautiful. I've always wanted to know what that is. So they've opened. So these are the kind of restaurants that you can get over here. I mean, I, I saw. I don't know how many restaurants I missed. I saw some. I saw an African restaurant. I saw Vietnamese. Now Turkmenistan. So let's keep at it. So this is the row of hotels over here. Um, you can already see Siemens has opened his office over here as well, you know. So slowly, slowly, some of the I've seen some of the biggest concerts in Expo City also happening. So we came from the uh, from the blue area around the world, and now we are here. We're at near the Rove, basically. Uh, I was checking the rates of Rove, so it goes at around uh, 300 a night, and the occupancy is at around 60 percent which is not bad for now when the infrastructure is not all ready. It's not buzzing as such. So 300 a night, I think at 60% occupancy is not bad. Wow. So this is the famous dome. So this is where I think most of the concerts and everything is going to happen. It's surreal. It's, it's so beautiful. And hence, I mean, you can see you can see some crowd again. I think there is some event happening right now. Again, important point: straight ahead from this road, that's where the metro station is. I mean, literally, if I had a travel bag and I go to that metro, I can go all the way to Dubai Airport. So very convenient. This is beautiful. So this is where Cristiano Ronaldo came, and you can see there's always something happening around here. So beautiful. Amazing. As in, you see some exquisite buildings over here. I don't even know what they are. Again, like I said, I will do my due diligence, but it's unbelievable. The infrastructure is... That's the future, guys. Saudi Arabia. The Middle East. So this is... This is 
this is one of the visions of uh, Dubai regenerative agriculture organic indoor farming in action the soil's ability to store carbon food abundance without waste so because why i mean if even if you study farm gardens the whole idea of farm gardens is that every farm garden house they will get a certain square footage around 50 square foot or 100 square foot i need to confirm that and emars uh, gardeners will be taking care of that patch for you so you can just advise what vegetables or fruits you'd like to grow that they are inculcating this culture sustainability is key i mean even if you study the mohammed bin rashid solar park the amount dubai is investing for sustainability is unbelievable this is beautiful It's probably the one of the only projects that's been endorsed by the ruler himself, Sheikh Mohammed. It's a government project. I love dealing with government projects. I've always mentioned in my videos. Stick to the government developers, Imar, Miras, Nakheel, Expo. Now, a um, few very important factors. One, there's very limited supply for the apartments as well. There are only 1,200 apartments in this main section. This is like, let's say, the downtown of Expo City. The dome is uh, where the concerts are happening. So I remember in City Walk, it's a big factor in City Walk, the fact about the concerts. Now this is the exhibition center right here. Again, another very important point, um, the, one of the uh, chair members are uh, the chair members, the CEO of Emirates himself, yes. And the CEO of Expo is uh, one of the ministers of state. So extremely important officials who are running this project. So uh, this is the exhibition center. So there'll be a change in this master plan. This section is not going to be here. This section is not going to be here. Right now, this is around 40,000 square meters. The exhibition center is going to extend all the way. What does that mean? Right now, the exhibitions are happening in trade center, all the exhibitions, and it causes a lot of traffic in Sheikh Zayed Road. So they will shift the exhibitions to this section over here. And what does that mean? A lot of business for Airbnb hotels um, the hotels are um, currently these this is the rove that we saw on the video this is the rove but all of these there's one two three four five six and I think uh, here seven eight nine ten around ten hotels in this section itself why have they kept ten hotels it's because of this the exhibition center and the concert over here um, these have not been so this will be more of the economy division of uh, the expo this mall again extremely important it's an ema mall now the second you say ema means it means good clientele uh, it's going to it's going to be uh, slightly bigger than marina mall marina mall has around 151 outlets it's around 191 outlets going to open in six months now we all know how uh, dubai hills estate mall elevated the prices of dubai hills so that's again a very important factor all of these areas is what I like, it's user friendly. So there were no cars. Uh, I mean, basically, the majorly buggy rides over here. So buggy rides are free, it's provided by the government. So that is again. So several factors that really help, and of course, the payment plan. Right now, I'm getting a lot of investors from US, Europe who are looking for a payment plan. What is the main advantage of the payment plan? You get time to ride the wave, the bullish wave. So if I get a post five year post handover payment plan means by then in 2030, the new airport's functional. And what happens then the entire crowd for them, this will be one of the closest area. I can go from here to the beach. I've got direct Metro access. This will be, this will be the Metro station that takes me both to the new airport and the old airport. So really, really exciting Expo City. Now let's understand Expo Valley. So this is the commercial district of uh, Expo City. Now, they, a good developer will never sell their commercial spaces. It really tarnishes the reputation and the quality of the community. Now, uh, I've spoken against a developer a lot. 
and I'm going to receive a lot of backlash about it. So right opposite downtown, there's, there's this entire Maidan area that's being developed. And there's this one developer who made around 14,000 apartment buildings. And he sold his commercial. Now, what's going to happen? Right now, people you find people are renting it out of 50,000, 60,000. If a person is paying around 50,000 dirhams or 60,000 dirhams uh, a year, what is the quality of that tenant? I mean, tomorrow there'll be like a, a butcher shop. There's going to be a, I don't know, a massage parlor. <laughs> There's going to be like these hair cutting salons for five bucks and ten bucks. Uh, I'm not against them but it affects the reputation of the community itself. So nothing is being sold, it's only being leased as we speak. They're trying to lease it out only to Fortune 500 companies. So already we saw Siemens. So that's the likes of the MNCs. DP World has opened up their office over here. Now a very, very important factor I have to discuss about that's a game changer for Expo City. So right next to Expo City, one of the, a large area has been purchased or acquired um, by Emirates Engineering. So they're going to repair the planes and aircraft. So they're right now in talks with Boeing uh, Airbus A380. But they're going to, so this section, it's a, it's a huge area that where they're going to repair. So all those engineers, where are they going to stay? All the people who come from the exhibition, where are they going to stay? This is going to be a very, now this is the concept, right? It's a very, now Europeans love this area because it revolves around sustainability. So I explained about the ruler endorsing it, explain of the exhibition, the mall, sustainability, concerts in the dome. Uh, over here uh, at this section, Emirates Engineering will be repairing aircrafts. Again, that will be uh, supply. Now let's understand, um, I explained about the commercial district. So you have uh, already DP World, you have Siemens. Uh, so they're contacting majorly only Fortune 500 companies to run the retail those people are also going to be residents of this community. So again, um, only 1,200 apartments, limited supply. I love limited supply. Let's understand the Expo Valley, the houses. Again, most important point I missed. Uh, international school, so that's extremely important. It'll be a branded international school right here. The ho this will be uh, the hospital. So you'll have, this is also very important in a community. It needs to have a good school, good hospital, mall. Everything is covered and a reputed developer, understand the villas. So in the Expo Valley, there are majorly three products. The one is Shams, Shamsa, Yasmina, and then you have these mansions. Now, fun fact about mansions, I think the whole of Dubai, there are only 20,000 mansions. If you uh, look at uh, Emirates Hills, in, in Palm, there are about 2,000 mansions. Uh, in Dubai Hills, Oasis, another 1,500 mansions. How much ever you calculate, in total, there'll be about 20,000 mansions in Dubai, and if you, just last year, there were 5,000 millionaires who migrated to Dubai. So mansions, again, is a, is a topic in itself. So this mansion will be facing a natural reserve. Uh, these will be priced somewhere between 12 to 18 million rooms. Uh, this Yashmina, what I love, see, I always talk about demand and supply. In total, townhouses, uh, club villas, this, these are club villas and mansions. There are about 530 houses in Expo Valley. Uh, about 280 of these uh, townhouses, 200 club villas. Now club villas are always a favorite um, product in the market. If you understand the club villa pricing, people made uh, a lot of money in Dubai Hills, the club villas. They started at around 3.5 to 4 million, now it's towards a 7.5 million mark. In club villas, in club villas are going to come in Bali as well. That'll be priced around the four million mark. Over here, the club villas are priced around the six million mark because the size is is unbelievable. We'll be discussing the floor plan shortly. So three products. I explained supply 280. The next cluster, the supply will be only 103 uh, villas on a total of 103. Uh, all have been sold out. There's one new cluster coming up, only 103 townhouses. That's one. Number two, total supply, only 200 club villas. That is um, Yasmin. And you have the mansions, the total supply, only 40 mansions. Most important point, it's on a payment plan, a 50-50 payment plan. I'll explain a bit more about the payment plans because different products have different payment plans, but uh, it's definitely a product to watch out for. So these are the solar panels. 
there are about 5,000, I'm sure 500 or 5,000, don't, don't quote me on this, that will be powering the entire city. I'll explain on the model. So they've taken official permission to, um, that the power, the load capacity, every iota in this entire community will be solar powered. Uh, what these solar panels that we see outside cannot provide, they've taken special provision from DIVA, that's Dubai Electricity Water Authority, to provide from Mohammed the solar park that we saw on our way. Um, they'll be taking from there to power the entire city. What I missed is that in the con in, in the stadium or the arena, they already have um, big, big concerts, like Coldplay concert happened over there. Um, Coldplay, A.R. Rahman, there's one more big name, I forgot the name. So some major concerts have already started happening. Extremely important point, that exhibition uh, is, is governed by um, World Trade Center. So there is, there's been an announcement last year that they're going to shut down the world. There's been an official announcement that they're going to shut down the World Trade Center exhibitions. So all, right now it's 42,000 square meters. It's going to go all the way up to 182,000 square meters, which means it'll be uh, able to host exhibitions like Gulf Foods, uh, Jitex, Cityscape. All the major exhibitions will be held over there itself. So these are extremely important factors. Uh, I did mention about the premium schools. I did mention about the hospitals. This is one of the best houses I've ever seen. So difference between the mansion and um, the clubhouses, the materials that we see, all would be the same. So again, I, mean, I love this island. So this is the dry kitchen. They have a wet kitchen behind. So all the equipment that you see, as you can see, is all top-notch material. The newest Bosch uh, kitchen equipment, um, fiddly fitted kitchen. Now these French windows can open out fully. Now I love this system. I've seen this only in forest villas and you can actually get a view of the reserve. So that's an example of the reserve. Now when the French windows completely open out, it will have an illusion that the ceiling is hanging. It's like a free, free fall ceiling. You know, it has an illusion of that, but probably this reserve, uh, they will have both gazelles and the Arabian oryxes. That's probably one of the biggest selling features. And that's not a lagoon, it's a proper lake. So that water feature exists as we speak. So that'll be a proper lake. So this is the dry kitchen. And this is your wet kitchen. Now let me explain the floor plan as well. So this is one part of the house that we saw. Uh, so we we entered, so this will be into so this actual four years. Now this is very important because I had a Japanese client tell me that Zohe, why do the houses or the apartments don't have an entrance foyer? So this is your entrance foyer. There'll be your main door. So there's actually a place in the Asian system, if there's Japanese or any Asian culture, they like leaving the shoes over here and then entering the house. So you have a proper entrance foyer. Towards the left, you have your living room. Now, tell me, let's go back to the floor plan. So, uh, we entered the house. We saw the living area. These are the French windows that open out. You have a provision for a swimming pool. It's your call whether you're an open garden and you're facing the natural reserve. Now, I'll give you an example of one of, one of the, the master bedroom. I'll give you a sample. Now, this is one of the best houses I've seen. Again, walk-in wardrobe. This is beautiful. You can see the size of the room. It's, it's, it's just beautiful. And so you have a little terrace area as well, as you can see. Um, it's very hard to get a beautiful, modern, contemporary villa like this. And then you must understand the demand and supply. There are only 40 of these mansions. 200 of the club villas, 280 townhouses. So in that land parcel, if it were EMAR, they would make around 900 houses. 
the same land parcel and I can quote examples. The exact same land parcel, a t a, another developer, let's say a, a Demac, would have built around 1,500 houses and they are building only 530 houses. So you must imagine, uh, this reminds me of Al Barari where the prices initially started around 5 to 6 million went all the way up to 16 million. This is an example of such a community. So these mansions, uh, I will give you the exact specs, but these mansions start between, it go, go, starts from 12, goes all the way up to 18 million. The uh, club villas start at six, and the townhouses are on the four million mark. So, um, but I haven't seen, I mean, this is, uh, this is really beautiful. I mean, really well done. I mean, if you see, all the material used, uh, it's extremely high-end, beautiful houses. So, another very important fact. I'm saying, I mean, whatever facts are coming, I'm, I'm just telling it one by one here. Yeah. About 5,000 trees, 5,000 fruit trees that will be planted in this community. 60% of the area is green. Now, when people say 60% of the area is green, very rarely they actually follow it. Because when you have 530 houses in this land parcel, that can be achieved. That means there are about 10 trees for each house. So, and plus, because they have all these water bodies, let me explain how they have mixed elevation. So, you in such a way that you won't have visibility more than 20 to 30 meters. They're going to make it that dense. The idea is when you walk through the community, it'll be dense in vegetation and you can hear like a river stream, a stream flowing. The thought that's put out, you know, this is why, see, you won't find a project being endorsed by the ruler himself. It is for a reason.